hello friends welcome to my channel or welcome back where we talk all things health and wellness today i'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about pregnancy and being on heparin while pregnant and why i am on heparin during pregnancy and i just wanted to say once again that medical disclaimer i am not a medical professional and this is just speaking from my personal experience and just my personal choices with the interaction with the doctor that I work with. So after my multiple losses, there was some blood work done and they found that I have the MTHFR mutation and um, I also have a PAI, another genetic mutation. And um, so that is why I am put on heparin during pregnancy. Now what's interesting is as I have seen some other OB doctors, they have said, well, that's obsolete. Heparin doesn't really do anything. And um, so I had another talk with my OB um, who I'm currently working with for the heparin and just wanted some more research and data as to um, is this really effective? Is this really worthwhile doing? He said to do some research on the factor five and this is in the same family with the MTHFR mutation. And um, what's interesting, if someone has the factor five mutation, they will treat it with heparin throughout pregnancy, but they won't with the MTHFR. And so um, I just, some in doing some of my research, I feel like there was still some conflicting data regarding this. With that research that I did, I did find research and data that did prove and show that even in the second and third trimester, with these mutations, there have been um, blood clotting complications with pregnancy. However, what he said just seemed to make sense that the two different mutations, why are they treated differently if they're in the same family? And if it doesn't do any harm per se, then why not for the life of your child, go ahead and be on heparin. One of the other influencing factors for me in choosing to go ahead with this pregnancy um, to be on the heparin is because after my multiple losses we did have a rainbow baby and I was on heparin the entire time so to me being on heparin is one of the factors that equals a successful and healthy pregnancy and so that's why I just felt at peace to just go ahead after talking with him and doing that research just going ahead and continuing with the heparin for this pregnancy. Now, of course, it's not super fun. It's not super convenient, but it is what it is. And you just kind of get used to it. It just kind of fits into the flow of your day. And um, it's all worth the life of your child. So you have these one milliliter um, syringes. These are actually, they also use them for insulin. They just have like a tiny little needle. And then you insert them abdominally in the morning and evening every 12 hours. And um, you have to fill them with the little vial here. And so there is another option. You can do Lovenox, which is acts 24 hours. So you would only need to do those once a day. The heparin you have to do twice a day because it's only effective every 12 hours. But with insurance coverage, the the Lovenox is much more expensive, so we just go with the heparin. And of course, with these injections and being that it is a blood thinner, it's a low-dose blood thinner that is not harmful to the baby. But um, with that, you do have constant bruising, constant black and blues all over your belly. So yes, it isn't pretty, but again, it's totally worth it. And um, you just, again, you kind of get into a routine and it takes less and less time as you get used to kind of how to fill it and then inject it and what have you. And you kind of find like sweet spots, <laughs> certain spots in your abdomen that really don't hurt as nearly as much as other spots. So um, you just kind of fit it into the rhythm of your day. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're considering, have been suggested to you to try heparin with pregnancy or not, just to do the research for yourself as best you can because you know, we are not, we ourselves are not doctors, but um, just as best you can doing the research and making the best decision that you feel at peace with for yourself, for your child, and for your family. That's all for this week. Have a great week. We'll see you back next week. Take care.